clip coming up came out on Yale University's site about uh, six hours ago. And uh, just watch the clip. If the director of the CIA claims that there are 400 members of Al-Qaeda left in Afghanistan, uh, by some estimates he believes there may be only 200, you have to ask yourself, so if you're talking about something like three or 400, 500 people, do you need 150,000 people at $1 billion per soldier per year, which is what it costs? You know, I mean, that's a lot of money. Okay, after watching that, you're talking about $15 trillion a year to kill 400 people. There's a million dead civilians. There's 5 million orphans. You put enough depleted uranium in that country to give everybody cancer just during Desert Storm. And they've been using depleted uranium ever since. Like, if Lady Gaga knew this, do you think she would be screaming for the equal rights of gays to be able to go and kill? I don't care if you're gay, okay? I care about the dead. I care about the five million orphans. I care about the four million in the refugee camps. I care about the cancer that is going worldwide because the isotopes liberate it from all that depleted uranium. That's why all your loved ones are dying of cancer, okay? I don't hate anybody. But the fact is, whether you like it or not, the reason she's so popular on YouTube is because they got rid of 250 million YouTubers. Every musician on YouTube has been de-indexed. Their video can never go viral like any other category. That was the competition. That's why Lady Gaga is now the major one. Well, we want to know, we wanted to find out how much DU was being manufactured in the U.S. because we suspected the, the U.S. was using a lot more. Now, um, one of the Japanese physicists who came to our Hamburg conference calculated that 800 tons of depleted uranium, re if it's released into the air, is the atomicity equivalent or the equivalent number of radioactive atoms as 41,000 Nagasaki bombs. We have released over a quarter of a million Nagasaki bombs equivalent radiation into our atmosphere. But what's even more alarming is um, that the McAllister Bomb Factory in Oklahoma, McAllister, Oklahoma, was applying for relicensing uh, at the NRC in order to be able to continue manufacturing DU weapons. And in order to maintain level one status, which they have to do to get relicensed, they must be able to ship 1,600 tons of depleted uranium weapons a day. That's, that's 166,000 Nagasaki bombs of radiation. It's 20 train car loads of DU going out of that factory every day. It's only one of four U.S. Army bomb factories. And all together, at all four bomb factories at any one time, they are allowed by the NRC to have up to 44,000 tons of DU on site. That's four and a half million Nagasaki bombs. Some people have described it that we will be at war with Iraq till the end of Earth because we cannot turn off the weapons that we used against Iraq. This is the time test. You have to be able to stop the weapons at the end of the war. Depleted uranium has a half-life of 4.5 million years, so um, we are at war with Iraq for the end of time. The director of the CIA claims that there are 400 members of Al-Qaeda left in Afghanistan. Uh, by some estimates, he believes there may be only 200. So if you're talking about something like three or 400, 500 people, do you need 150,000 people at $1 billion per soldier per year, which is what it costs? You know, I mean, that's a lot of money.